The Mounts Iglit Baco Natural Park or MIBNP has a total land area of 106,665.62 hectares. Situated at the heart of Mindoro Island, the smallest among the five major centers of endemicity or the so-called faunal regions in the country. Approximately 75% of its land area lies in the province of Occidental Mindoro, comprising the municipalities of Rizal, Kalintaan, and Sablayan. The remaining 25% lies within the province of Oriental Mindoro, in the municipalities of Gloria, Bansud, Bungabong, Mansalay, and Pinamalayan. It encompasses at least eight major river systems and characterized with a rugged terrain composed of slopes, river gorges, and plateaus. It is mountain grassland of which 70% of the area is covered with grass and the rest are lowland primary and secondary forests. MIBNP best showcases the Mindoro biodiversity. There are 63 species belonging to 49 genera under 9 families of common plants present. It has the biggest remaining population of Tamarau, which is endemic to the island of Mindoro. Tamarau is the most endangered largest land mammal in the Philippines. Aside from the Tamaraus, 104 species of birds belonging to 39 families, 11 species of snakes, Four species of lizards, nine species of amphibians, ten species of fruits and insect bats, and three species of large mammals belonging to order Artiodactyla can be found. Under the Expanded National Integrated Protected Area System Act, or ENIPAS, Approved by President Rodrigo Roa Duterte on June 22, 2018, Mount Iglit Baco became one of the protected area under the category of Natural Park. Mount Iglit Baco was designated as an ASEAN Heritage Park on December 18, 2003, wherein the ASEAN member states agreed to effectively manage these protected areas so as to maintain ecological processes and life support systems, preserve genetic diversity, and ensure sustainable utilization of species and ecosystems. MIBNP is also included in the Philippine tentative list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, the precursor to a formal nomination process to UNESCO. More importantly, MIBNP is identified by the Haribon Foundation in 2001 to have four important bird areas, which are now also registered as key biodiversity areas. The Survey and Registration of Protected Area Occupants, or SRPAO, conducted between 2016 and 2018, recorded 4,355 inhabitants of MIBNP. 72% of the population is from the Mangyan indigenous groups, predominantly the Buhid, Tao Buhid, and Bangun tribes, and the remaining are Tadyawan and Hanuno tribes, while 28% are non-IPs who have recently migrated to the region such as Ilocanos, Tagalogs, Bicolanos, Batangueños, and Bisayans. Protected Area Management Office is composed of the Protected Area Superintendent, Park Maintenance Foreman, Forest Rangers, Forest Protection Officers, Park Attendants, and other technical and support staff. Through the DENR Mimaropa, Mounts Iglit Baco Natural Park continues to fight challenges on biodiversity protection and conservation. Ang panahon, itong iglit, marami pa pong tamaraw dito. Yung buong lalawigan ng Occidental Mindoro, eh, may mga tamaraw. Yung buong lugar na ito, eh, ito na po yung tirahan ng mga tamaraw, baboy damo, usa, at mga unggoy. Yeah, meron dyan, hanggang doon yan. Ganun. At palibot dyan pa ganun. Dwarf buffalo resembling the more familiar carabao, the tamarau is found nowhere else in the world but on the island of Mindoro. The tamarau, along with other wildlife species, share this area with the Mangyans. Mounts Iglit Bako is the ancestral domain of the indigenous tribe. 
From about 10,000 a century ago, the Tamaraos population has been decimated by disease, poaching, and habitat destruction and conversion. This prompted the International Union for the Conservation of Nature and the Philippine government's Department of Environment and Natural Resources to classify the Tamarao as critically endangered, just a step above extinction. The DENR conducts an annual count of the Tamarao. As of April 2017, there are only 401 individual Tamarao in Mounts Iglit Baku. Maraming baka dito noon nung pinasok ng pastuhan. Naging praktisan ng yung mga naunang sundalo, practice target, yung mga hayop ilang. Siyempre sa pagdami ng mga tao, doon po unti-unting kumukunti yung tamaraw. It has been illegal to kill, hunt, or even wound a tamaraw since 1936. Yet their numbers remain dangerously low. <laughs> The Mindoro Biodiversity Conservation Foundation Incorporated, or MBCFI, is at the forefront of the conservation initiatives in Mindoro Island, a global biodiversity priority area. MBCFI is a member of the International Union for Conservation of Nature. It receives core funding support from the Malampaya Joint Venture Partners. MBCFI provides integrated biodiversity conservation and development programs based on biological researches, socioeconomic surveys, conservation needs assessment, and management plans. They also provide training in sustainable livelihood projects for Mangyans. Ang ibinigay po na training ng MBCFI is aming CTU o pamayanan ay yung senersery pagduduktong ng mga Protas. Ang binigay ngayon sa amin ay yung market ng mga prutas, yung abono, yung organic. May kasama rin ano yun, uh, mga punong kahoy na dat datihan na sumisibol dito. The programs are all meant to address poverty by providing eco-friendly solutions. Mangyans welcome efforts to conserve and protect wildlife and their habitats. They have a deep spiritual connection to the land, and they believe spirits that reside within nature have a way of getting back at men who abuse the environment. Tumatanim na ang ating pamala ng mga jimili na mahogani, pero binabaha pa rin sila at tinatabunan ng mga bundok sa dahil landslide. Ito ay ganti ng mga espiritu na hindi natin nagkikita. Respeto din natin igalang yung kanilang tirahan. Sa paggalang ng tirahan ng mga espiritu na yon, paggalang na rin sa ating samot sa ring buhay ilang. Despite the Mangyan's unease around outsiders, Novel also coordinates with groups and institutions out to save the Tamarao and their environment, which, he notes, is slowly dying. Unti-unti na rin nagkaroon ng kaisipan ng mga katutubo na dapat pati sila ay makabahagi din sa pangalaga ng Tamarao. At hindi lang Tamarao, samot sa ring buhay. Kaya nga, yung mga pumapasok na katuwang sa mga pangangalaga ng ating samot sa ring buhay ay at tinatanggap ng tribo dahil kung sa ngayong panahon, Kung tribo na lang mismo yung mga, mga ngalaga, kagaya nung wala pang mga Tagalog, eh, hindi po kaya ng tribo. From hunting the Tamarao, Mangyans now serve as its protectors. It is their belief that their fate is intertwined with a threatened animal. Paniniwala ng tribo ay kapag naubos ang Tamarao, mawawala na rin yung Mga the Mangyan know that the world is changing fast around them. They know they have to forge a new path to the future. A future where man, nature, and the Tamarao thrive.